Good day and welcome back. We're doing trigonometry and we look at more exam type questions on 2D objects. So just to have a brief recap, we've gone full circle now. We started off with trigonometric ratios. We looked at opposite over hypotenuse, the whole trip, how sine is expressed, cos is expressed and tan is expressed. Looking at 2D objects as well as 3D problems. Trigonometric graphs, compound angles, we really went full circle. We worked with um, double angles as well as the compound angles. We've worked with negative angles, special angles. Then we worked with the sine rule, the cos rule, the area rule. So the trig identity stood on the foreground here, um, working with trigonometric identities and the derivations of it so all of these we should be able to use and apply in all the sums that we tackle our very first sum that we encounter with they say write y in terms of x and theta and beta the information given is quadrilateral a b c d given in the picture that d is 45 degrees a d is equal to y angle a c d is beta a, C, B is theta, angle A, B, C is 60 degrees, A, B is equal to X. A, C, no length is given. They want me to write X, Y in terms of X, theta and beta. So one thing that I know at this point in time, sine of that side Sine of this angle over that side will be equal to the sine of this angle over that side. So my sine rule I will apply. Then I will write this angle, this side, in terms of sine of 60 over this side. And sine of theta over that side. So my common side in both triangles is AC. I start with triangle ACD and I say here side AC over sine 45 will be equal to side Y over sine of beta. Then I write AC as the subject of this equation. So AC will be equal to sine 45 times Y over sine of beta. Then I go to triangle ABC and I say there that X over sine of theta is equal to AC over sine of 60 degrees. Then I write AC as the subject of the equation and I say AC is equal to X sine 60 over sine of theta. For those that don't know how we got here, allow me to quickly explain. Apply on both sides with sine of 60, this side, as well as sine of 60 on this side. So sine of 60 will cancel out sine of 60, and I'll be left with AC. So whatever I do on the right hand side, I must also do on the left hand side. So I multiply here by sine of 60. So I'm left with X sine 60 over sine of theta. And that is what I have there. So my next step, because AC is equal to AC, it's the same line. So that means that this is equal to this over here. Now I compare the two to each other and I'm going to write Y as the subject of the formula. So here I will multiply with sine of beta over sine of 45 to get rid of both of these. And whatever I do on this side, I must do on this side as well. So I multiply with sine of beta over sine of 45 degrees. So sine of 60 is equal to square root of 3 over 2. So I can simplify that by using my special triangles. When I look at my special triangles, sine of 60 degrees, the opposite over the hypotenuse, square root of 3 over 2, then multiply with sine of beta. And then sine of 45 degrees. Let's look at 45. 
sine of 45 degrees is the opposite of the hypotenuse. So that is 1 over square root of 2 multiplied by sine of theta. So if I expand and simplify this, this becomes square root of 6 over 2. Then that is x. And then I have sine of beta, sine of theta. So y is equal to square root of 6x sine beta over 2 sine theta. Well, from me, thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, tell your friends. If you loved it, tell everyone. We'll see you in the next one.